ISRA is a, a well-known charity in the United Kingdom and they do amazing work in Palestine and, and the Middle East and across Africa and they've been involved in getting humanitarian aid into Gaza and one of our goals is obviously to lift that blockade on humanitarian aid so it very much aligns with what we believe and what we think and, and also as well it's, it's important to discuss what happens after the ceasefire, what happens after that these atrocities are, are being uh, are stopped hopefully on Gaza and what do we do next with respect to how we're going to rebuild Gaza and, and get the city back not just to what it was before but hopefully even better and more prosperous for Palestinians. Well obviously the immediate need, the immediate necessities is to make sure that Palestinians have food, water, fuel, fresh clothes, bedding, sanitary equipment, sanitary uh, things for ladies, for children, okay? These are immediate needs. But with respect to Palestinians not wanting to be seen as charity, because they want to be self-sustaining, they want to have their own autonomy on their own lives and be able to, to be independent. And that's what every single human being on this planet wants. They want to have their own independence. And, and it's only right that they get the opportunity to experience that. And it's, it's amazing for Isra and what they're doing in order to achieve longevity as well with the Palestinians, what they're doing with their orphan schemes, um, in order to make sure that these children, these Palestinians, have a solid backbone for, for, for hopefully a better future, inshallah.